Welcome into a Friday edition of Round of the Bases. I'm Jeff Arnold alongside Jack Keffer. Frederick Keyes concluding a three-game set with the Potomac Nationals yesterday. Keyes over the series against Potomac. They finished with a bunch of extra base hits, but they just couldn't score a lot of runs. Yeah, seven of the 19 hits that they had in the series went for extra bases. You saw the four home runs in the double header, and then yesterday the two doubles that went back-to-back -back in the first inning, Zach Jarrett and then Caden Grenier. But after that, Keys were silent through eight innings. They only had two base hits over the final eight innings against Nick Riquet and that Peanuts bullpen. So it's great to see them lifting the ball, but it's about consistency at the plate. Obviously, easier said than done. The pitching staff for the Wood Ducks has had a lot of consistency against the Keys, and it's a staff that figures to challenge Frederick once again. The top overall pitching staff in the Carolina League, they're tied for the best mark in all of minor league baseball. They've been one of the best teams in all of minor league baseball as well, with one of the best records in the minors. This is a tough down East Wood Ducks team. The Keys saw them a week ago where they dropped two games. They salvaged the series finale, though. It's going to be the same pitching matchup here at Nimeo Field, just a change in location. So all three of those games, pretty close games. We'll see if the Keys can turn the tide and get a series win against the Wood Ducks here at home. This weekend goes down as one of the most exciting from a promotion standpoint this year. It all gets kicked off tonight with Cancer Awareness Night. These players and coaches will be wearing jerseys, which will include the names of different people affected by cancer. And to go with that, luminaries will be lighted after the game, and there will also be some fireworks. Yeah, there's going to be an auction for those jerseys. You can bid for them on the app. Find out more information at frederickkeys.com. It promises to be an outstanding night and one of the best of the year. All the proceeds will go towards cancer research. And then tomorrow, this is maybe the number one night of the year, the office night. Stanley Hudson will be in town to do an autograph session from 5 to 7 o'clock. Leslie David Baker, the actor who played the role of Stanley Hudson, will be in town. And then a Dylan Bundy Dundee for the first 1,000 fans. And you've got to get here early, folks, for that Dylan Bundy Dundee bobblehead. It is pristine. It is gold. It looks gorgeous, and of course, Stanley Hudson is going to be here, the, the heart of the office show. It's going to be outstanding, and it's going to be a packed house, so make sure you get here early. And on Sunday, a Royal Tea Party. I'm sure you know all about that. Yeah, the Royal Tea Party, uh, honoring Disney princesses, so a lot, we're going to see a lot of princesses throughout the day. Jeff, who is your Disney princess? I don't watch a whole lot of Disney movies. I don't think you could say Pocahontas, because that was... Uh, that works. Does that count? I don't, but she was a princess, though. Ah, she's a princess. I'm going to go with Ariel, the mermaid, strictly for dressing up purposes. If I had to come to the ballpark dressed up as a as a Disney princess, I'd go with Ariel for the fin and just walk kind of awkwardly the whole time. Kind of walk awkwardly. Anyways. Thank you. I really appreciate the insight. All right. He's Jack Keffer. I'm Jeff Arnold. Ticket information, frederickkeys.com, and we will see you at the ballpark this weekend.